New tonight, a street vendor was attacked and robbed of hundreds of dollars on the northwest side. And WGN's Julian Cruz talked to the victim. He joins us now live from Grand and Laurel with the details. Julian. Well, Ray, the longtime street vendor, well known to the community for his high spirits and friendly smile, sadly suffering a terrible beating last week as he waited for the bus to go home. I felt a blow, street card vendor Gonzalo Garcia tells reporters, the hardworking immigrant from Mexico, describing last Thursday's unprovoked attack near this CTA bus stop on the 5200 block of West Grant. And what I did, Garcia explains, was cover my face so they wouldn't disfigure me. Witnesses seeing a group of young assailants beating and robbing the helpless Garcia, making off, he says, with close to $270. The injured man rushed by ambulance to a nearby care center. They took x-rays, he says. I have a fracture over here. News of the awful incident with social media video reaching Brenda Correa. As soon as I saw it, I felt very upset by what happened. Correa, herself the daughter of Mexican immigrants, with help from the Belmont Cragen United Neighborhood Association, springing into action, touched by Garcia's plight. I just identified with him. I know how it feels like to have nobody out there looking out for you. A GoFundMe page established to help Garcia with medical bills, not to mention the money that was stolen from him. All of this happening just weeks before Christmas. Now, Garcia, who has pushed a street card for the better part of 10 years, telling us that he is looking for a different line of work. He says this is the third time that he has been assaulted on the streets of Chicago. Log on to our website for a link to the GoFundMe page. In the Belmont-Cragen neighborhood, Julian Cruz, WGN News.